On today's show, Volvo Trucks reveals a bizarre, electric, autonomous commercial vehicle. A new study finds that new vehicles depreciate by more than $3,000 a year, and Aston Martin shares more details about its upcoming first ever electric vehicle. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily, the voice of the global automotive industry. Well, Aston Martin is sharing more details about its first electric vehicle, the Rapide E. Twin electric motors that produce about 600 horsepower and 700 pound-feet of torque drive the rear wheels through a limited slip differential. Aston is projecting 0 to 60 in under 4 seconds and a top speed of 155 miles per hour. A 65 kilowatt hour battery pack gets mounted where the engine, gearbox, and fuel tank used to sit in the gasoline powered version, and it's expected to return over 200 miles of range. Only 155 Rapide E's will be built, and deliveries are expected to start late next year. Say, remember Porsche's Passport program? 2,000 bucks a month gets you access to eight different Porsche models, 3,000 bucks bumps that up to 22 cars. And now the automaker is building on those services with Porsche Drive and Porsche Host. The Drive program allows people in Atlanta to get behind the wheel of a Porsche for a few hours, a whole day, or up to a week. They can be booked online or by phone and are delivered by a concierge. Pricing ranges from about $270 for a few hours to nearly $3,000 for a week depending on time and vehicle. Porsche Host is a ride-sharing program that allows current Porsche owners to rent out their vehicle for a day, week, or month. Only available in LA and San Francisco, customers can book their ride using car-sharing provider Turo's app or website. Porsche Host launches on October 8th. Well, Daimler has acquired a stake in a company that has developed a unique platform for selling used cars. Haycar was founded in 2017 by the financial arm of Volkswagen AG. It's a single online source where customers can shop for used cars from multiple brands and do everything from purchase the vehicle to finance and insure it. Only authorized dealers can list vehicles and they have to be no more than eight years old with up to 150,000 kilometers. As of now, the platform represents over 1,000 dealer groups and over 300,000 vehicles, but Haycar says it's open to add more brands. Still to come, Volvo reveals a commercial truck with no cab. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, advanced materials that deliver better results. Lear, a global leader in automotive seating and electrical systems, and by Exxon Mobil. Volvo Trucks revealed a wild autonomous electric trailer hauling vehicle called Vera. As you can see, there is no cab, but it's not meant for the open road. Instead, it's been designed to transport goods in highly repetitive short distance areas like ports, factories, or logistics centers. The vehicles operate through a network and are connected through a cloud-based service and a management center. They have been designed to work with existing trailers and can operate 24-7. Volvo says Vera offers more flexibility for companies and can deliver cargo in a timelier fashion. And in other commercial truck news, Hyundai revealed a sketch of a fuel cell semi that will launch next year in Europe. The truck will make its official debut at the 2018 IAA commercial vehicle show in Germany that kicks off at the end of the month. Hyundai will reveal its specs and its plans for the truck in the European market at the show. When consumers are looking to buy a new car, they consider purchase price, monthly payments, and fuel and maintenance costs. But the AAA says new car buyers need to factor in another cost of ownership, depreciation. It just released a study that found that the average new vehicle depreciates by more than $3,000 a year. On top of that, The study revealed that the average cost to own and maintain a new vehicle in 2018 is $8,850 per year, and that's based on driving 15,000 miles annually. The AAA says the best way to minimize depreciation costs is to keep your car a long time and well-maintained or look at buying 
a quality used car. Most collision shops aren't following OEM procedures when fixing a vehicle. We'll have more about that right after this. Lear Connexus is the new application suite in vehicle connectivity designed to deliver over-the-air software updates and more from Lear Corporation's eSystems, leaders in power and data management. Today's cars are made out of many different grades of steel and aluminum, as well as different kinds of plastics and even carbon fiber. So when a new vehicle is in an accident and needs to be fixed, you can't repair it using traditional methods. And that's why it's critical for repair shops to follow OEM guidelines. And recently on AutoLine This Week, we were joined by John Van Alstein, the president and CEO of iCar, an organization that helps educate shops on collision repairs. And he told us that there aren't many shops following OEM guidelines. In all cases, um, you know, tr training is not enough. And you know, mm -hmm. if, if anyone's he heard me speak in the collision repair industry, I would say that training is not the silver bullet. It's one of the bullets. I would say it's a foundational bullet, <laughs> but you need to be doing other things. You need to be using OEM repair procedures. You need to have the right equipment. You need to have the right processes in place. You need to have the right leadership in place. You need all these components to really work together uh, in the shop. And, um, you know, so when you look at that OEM procedure thing, um, there's been studies done on the use of OEM procedures. And, um, a uh, consulting organization by the name of Collision Advice that are in our space. Anyhow, 17.4% of shops utilize OEM procedures 100% of the time. Only 17 and so, whatever change. So percent. that means they're not being used 100% of the time in, in many shops. And uh, so we advocate all the time that, uh, you know, every single one of our courses starts with follow the OEM procedures, follow the OEM procedures, because it's critical. As always, you can watch that entire show right now on our website, Autoline.tv, or just look for it on our YouTube channel. And don't forget to tune in to Autoline After Hours this afternoon. Gary Vasilash will be hosting a reporter roundtable with his fellow journalists to discuss the latest developments in the global automotive industry. That's at 3 p.m. Eastern Time on our website, Autoline.tv. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, and we'll be right back here again tomorrow.